Um, I just started channeling recently, within the last six months. I was going to tell you the whole story, but I was talking to my uh, spirit guides and meditating today, and they said, no, oh, you don't have to tell that story. What you should tell them is that you know that there are going to be skeptics and there's going to be believers, but the spirits that come here don't care about that. What they care about is the information they're going to give you is going to help you move forward in your life, move the planet forward in the sense that we're a collective vibration. This earth has been populated many times, but this time we've reached an area in time and space where we're close to being part of the galaxy. We are close. That vibration is getting greater. You may think that the ascension hasn't started. Wrong. It has. And it starts small because you have to understand that when the vibration is coming, it stretches out like a beam of light and collects people, okay? It's collecting people. We're the very beginning of it. It's the very beginning. And so the light hasn't stretched out that far yet, but it will. And the people that I talk to, the beings, the spirits, are all of one mind in the white light because they want us to achieve that. We're in a place also where we're at the very edge of taking the next step of evolution. Now I'm not saying that going to happen tomorrow or in five years, but within a, a short period of time in the scale of time, we are ready to take that step. But we have to bring up the vibration of the whole world, or most of it. Because the vibration is collective. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Individually, we count. But collectively, we are a force. Negativity separates itself from each other at times. Whereas the energy of the white light collects and builds and can overcome darkness with one third or one tenth of the of the amount of people and vibration that darkness they can overcome that so much easier we have to understand that and that's how the light works it brings people in and it closes out the darkness do you understand this is the kind of thing they have been talking to us about and I pray, dear Lord, they come and visit us tonight, spirit or alien or whatever, whoever is intended to speak, that is who I want to come. And I want you all to be quiet within yourselves and call on the white light. Call on protective, cover us all, okay? Cover us all in the white light, the purity, all those positive thoughts. Please be as positive as you possibly can. I know sometimes that's difficult. And they know that sometimes it's difficult. But negativity does stifle them somewhat. So if you need, if you, if you do have negative thoughts, just call them the white light. Okay? Cover us all. And if we could be silent for a little while while I meditate, I will Oh, welcome, David. Does anybody have any questions before I talk? Will we ask any questions while you're in that state? Ah, I knew there would probably be one. Yes, we can, there will be a time for questions, I believe, but that is up to the whoever's here. That'll be there. They'll control the floor, and if there is a place for questions, they will definitely let you ask. Them. Any 
anything else? Yes. Oh, is no, no, I'm getting I ready. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. 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 Hi. Oh, there's many. You told me only a few. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you how to be more a part of the white light how to build yourself into it and raise your vibrations. It's not as hard as you think. You have to believe. The white light is not there just to be gazed upon. The white light is to be entered. When you enter it, it will pull you. But you must move with it as well. You'll feel the pull, but if you don't move with it, you'll stay still. You'll begin to understand things in people that you never saw before. You'll be able to start to awaken thoughts in them that they don't normally think. Because... The world programs us in a totally different way. But this light energy brings you forward, makes your senses vibrate differently. You will know it when you feel it. I sense there is many of you who are part of the full vibration of the earth and can see beyond what you normally would have seen ten years ago. Am I correct? Yes, I see. I am a blue. My name is Lakash. I don't walk around much like you do. I float. At least most of the time. <laughs> 
I have, I look like a large gingerbread boy in some ways. But I do have a thumb and three fingers, and I have a big toe and three other toes. That was just for your entertainment. <laughs> I'm glad you were entertained. Aliens have a sense of humor too. Because in the light, as you will realize, joy and laughter are part of the ascension. Yes, the joy and laughter are part of the ascension. And you must be a part of that. You must bring a light to a situation that is dark. You must be the ones to be the catalyst. Since you have the vibrations that are rising, you must be the one to move forward and bring others along with you. You see, you see the light, but if you just gaze at it, what, what, what have you done? You've seen the light, big deal. You have to move into it. You have to become part of it. You have to bring those people along with you. They're going to see it in you. They're going to experience it in you. Because it is part of who you are now. You're not a part of a lying world a deceitful world. You're part of the honesty, the truth, and the integrity of the world that will become another rise, mankind. You are on the verge of evolution right now as we speak. This, there has never been a culture on this planet that has been as close to an evolutionary move as you are right now. Do you understand what that means to the galaxy? Do you? You may become part of the galaxy now soon. Do you understand? Is there a question about about raising your vibration or the vibration of the world. That is why we're here with you, to pull you with us, to show you the way. Not as gods, we are not. We are not gods. We know a little bit more. We have more technology, but we are not gods. There is only one God with many names, many, many names throughout the galaxy. You are in the outer edge of this galaxy, and so you've had life turnover more than some of the other planets that we deal with, but we've never seen or experienced what is happening here, exactly. Do you understand that? It's amazing. It's a study for us, but yet, more than that, we care about the existence of this planet. We are out here working. You have no idea. We have people working to help with your weather, help with your seismology, help with your Oh, and you do have this little um, movement of the axis thing. Not a good thing sometimes. Not a good thing. So we help with that. We aid in a bet. Okay? We can help with that. And we have been. Otherwise, you'd be extinct probably 20 years ago. But because of all the chemical and things that are in the air, we sort of siphoned a little out, but that's neither here nor there at this time. Any questions?
Yeah, please ask questions. Go ahead. I have one. My name is Cookie, and I would like to know if you're familiar with my off-planet brother who guides me. Cookie. Very interesting name. Thank is you. that not a treat of some sort? <laughs> That's me, a real treat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you seem delightful. But I am not aware of who you are attached to. Thank you. Um, I am aware to some of the attachments, but I don't know everything. So I... Is, could you give me a hint? <laughs> Rebecca? Hmm? Pardon me? Oh, I don't think he's a blue bill. He may, he's another E.T. A hum? A hum. A-H-A-A-M. A hum. A-H-A-A-M. Perhaps they call themselves that. I am not aware of a species of that name. No, that is his name, not his species. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not understand. I am not aware That's of a species name. of that name. His name's Ha-Hum. Uh -huh. I am not aware of him. I am sorry. I have a question. You said that we need to become a part of the light, move with the light. Yes. How... How are we to do that? What's an example of how to do that? Do you ever see the light? Well, yes, I do. Do you observe it? What does it look like to you? It's... It's... I don't know how to describe it. It's do you move toward it or just observe it? I try to stay with it. Do you bring it into you? I bring it into me. When you bring it into you, pray that you can move with it. Give it an intention with you. The intention to move forward and to see things in others that you wouldn't normally have seen. Make it be perceptive with you. Because the world is so isolated, each individual is so isolated, because there is no telepathy here. We have to guess at your intention. This way you will find that your intention will seek out theirs. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. And this way you can start to learn how people are in their intention and in their growth in the world. We have to set aside our own personal gain sometimes, not always, but to actually see people for who they are so that they can actually feel a part of the light. That's as close as an explanation I, as I can give you at this time. Do you have anything to add, anyone? There might be knowledge here that can help others. And that is another reason why we are here, to let those who know speak. How, I have a question. How, yes. How does your example to Rebecca play in with the law of attraction and like attracts like? I don't know, but uh, let me put it this way. The, the light separates you from everything else. When you are in the light, that is a separate place other than anywhere of, of any kind of laws that might exist, if you understand that. Of course, there's still gravity and laws of, of nature and such. However, the laws of humanity, like attract like, or opposites attract, or whatever, have actually been neutralized by the light because you are becoming the light. You are becoming the part 
that is going to pull people. The part that will actually attract others to you because of what you emanate. But it's hard to stay in the light. And it's impossible to stay in it forever. At least in your bodies. But stay as close as you can. That's all I can tell you. Does that answer your question? Or not? For the most part. Thank you. I believe one of the more powerful things that you just said was to set your intention. Yes. We are people of intention. We are a species, us, and you are all intentioned. And that intention can be guided and strengthened. What did you mean by becoming one with the galaxy? I was talking about as a species. You are going to reach a point in your evolution where the galaxy will open its arms to you. Do you understand that? You are getting close to that age, that era, that time, whatever the word is that would be most appropriate. Hello. Oh, Max. Hello. Hey. So uh, this video might get on YouTube, and you are getting on record that blues are fixing the weather, which is a little stretch. Maybe oh, you meant no. aliens fixing the weather. The aliens are fixing the weather, but I was saying we as a collective species of outer world people. Um, Just correct we, it. Correct yes. It. Dees Du and Tepe and Tke are all working to, in the, in the North American region to help the weather, seismographic problems, different things here. You know we've had a bad stretch of weather during the year this year with lots of storms and things. Dees Du and Tepe and Tke have uh, all been a part of that. They move their ship from place to place to affect that. What about chemtrails? Chemtrails? What do you mean by that? You the mean the, from the, oh, the spraying of food and things? No, the spraying behind the planes. A contrail dissipates immediately yes. because of the hot engine and the cold air. Yeah. A chemtrail is being sprayed. They're doing it all around the world. The aliens it has. No, no. The military. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I understand what you're saying. With aluminum shaft, barium, arsenic, and 15 other poisons. Yes, that's true. Which is affecting the birds, the species, the, the bees, bees, the butterflies. Yes. We discussed that this afternoon. There's many species being And affected. more people are getting Alzheimer's from the aluminum shaft. More people are, uh, children are getting autism. More people are getting cancer, of course. Asthma, respiratory problems. Your governments have... It's not just our government. I know, but I'm starting there. We have spoken to your governments, I, not personally me. Uh, they have been spoken to, and these things are of not concern to them. And we find that very... I don't know exactly what the word is. It's, a several, it's several different things, actually. But it's not going away. We are helping with it as much as we can. But that fact that they are doing that is not going away. However, the ascension still must happen, and the ascension will take care of that problem eventually, but not yet. Thank you. You're welcome. Can, Thank you. What can we do now to help? Well, you can actually, hmm, as individuals or as a group? Individually and collectively for... You can make people aware in the government that you know what is happening. This frightens government people. 
when they know that you know that something is happening, usually they will either try to cover it up better, or they will try to affect change that will make you happy in some way. But I, in <clears throat> light of all this, we found that mostly they just lie. Um, they just tell a non-truth and say that that's being caused by something else. So, um, have you experienced that? I'm sure you have. Um, um, but they do. They do not tell the truth. And so, what we can do individually is actually start our own gardening, our own way of doing things. It sounds very primitive. But to escape the chemicals and to escape all the things that they're doing to the air and the ground and the whatever is, we have to take it into our own hands. It's that's all. That's that's what it has to be. We have done so. We have had times similar to yours. Growing pains are part of. Every culture, every species. Can I ask you something? I'm Barbara. Hi, Barbara. I keep wondering about the food issues that we have so many new methods of basically changing, harming our food for apparently good reasons. Um, what is it we can do? do, do we, have we reached a stage where we can do much to change it? There is much that has been compromised with injection of chemicals into food, seeds. There's nothing to stop that. There is technology from other worlds, but it does not translate here because we are not permitted to have it here. But, excuse me. There are things we can do for ourselves. Yeah. We can, some of you know about dowsing, I think is. Mm -hmm. You may douse your food and make sure that it's permissible or edible or, but those who do not know about these things, as we expand in the light, they will know more. They will learn more. I wish there was some way we could put that into them. This understanding of where the world is heading, what's happening, and the, why the light is so important. But it, it, it cannot be done that way. Question? Certainly. Because what is your favorite thing to do? For? What is your favorite thing to do? Oh, I love music. Mm -hmm. Music is my favorite thing. <laughs> I have another question. Yes. Can you discuss disclosure? We know that that is being discussed very heavily right now amongst several species. The, the outstanding species right now is Yigel. Have you heard of them? What do they look like? They are actually a very, one of the good grays. There's bad grays and there's the good tall grays. Ones. The taller ones. The taller, yes. They were be, since there's been so much exposure through movies of similar looking creatures, They were given, at this point, which is still being discussed, I might add, permission to be first for contact. However, that's not final. 
as we know, they have been given a good name in some places and a bad name in others. And there's many different kinds of grays. I, I mean, not many, but there's at least five different species of grays. Some of them have five fingers, some of them have four. Some of them are tall, some of them are short, some of them are lean toward the blue color. Some of them have rough skin, some of them have smooth skin. Boy. Um, what was I saying? Disclosure. Hmm? Disclosure. But it's being discussed heavily <coughs> right now because your people are almost ready for it. Not in this country. Not in this country. There are some places that are ready, but not quite yet. It's not quite yet. But there, the ways in which they would like to contact you, they have tried before, were not successful. And so a new and more friendly approach is being discussed. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, but I must go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings to you. Is that Jim back? Hmm? Is that Jim back now? Yes, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. I can tell the cash was here. Did he say anything good? <laughs> yes.